Daisy, the drug mimics the effects of regular marijuana, but it's man-made. In recent years, it's been banned in the state of Texas. Stella McCallantine got her hands on it and had a near-death experience. Now her family is demanding stricter laws. I've heard about it. I know that uh, it's, it's around, but not so close here to the valley. Mary Flores is talking about synthetic marijuana. Her 14-year-old niece had a near-death experience a week ago after trying it for the first time. Since it was her first time, the doctor did state that it was something that um, her body wasn't used to, so it reacted really violently towards it. The McCallantean has a heart condition and one kidney. Conditions her aunt believes could have caused her to black out and convulse after trying the designer drug. And it landed her in the emergency room. We've always warned her, you know, that this is very dangerous for her, even if she tries one cigarette or any kind of drug. Two adult men living near the teen's home at this trailer park in McAllen allegedly provided the drug for the middle school student. Her family filed a police report with McAllen police, but they are still waiting for charges. The supervisor told my sister that there is nothing they can do because she was a willing participant. I understand that that part, but the part where a 19 or a 20 year old gives a 14 year old a, a drug to smoke. I don't see the legal part in it. Synthetic marijuana has different effects on people. Some experience a high, while others have had major health complications, including blindness and brain damage. State legislatures criminalized the distribution and possession of synthetic marijuana back in 2011. But prosecution of the manufacturers, sellers, and buyers has been difficult. I'm pretty sure that there's something that, that they can get from there to at least charge them, charge them with, with there's got to be something they can do. They can't just tell us there's nothing. Until stricter laws are passed, Flores says every parent should have a serious conversation with their teens. Uh, talk to them. Talk to them that synthetic marijuana is out here in the valley. It's very dangerous. The McCallum teen is out of the hospital but still recovering. In the studio, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.